Tony Casey here with the Technology Show here at the Soul Shift event in Greensboro, North Carolina. To my right are four district superintendents in the southeast. Uh, to my immediate right, Dan Berry, uh, district superintendent for South Coastal. To the right of him, Buddy Rampy, district superintendent for South Carolina. To his right, Dan Leroy, district superintendent for North Carolina East District. And to his right, Jerry Lumston, uh, district superintendent for the North Carolina West District. Uh, Dan, earlier uh, you were on a panel and you said you saw John Wesley throughout the Soul Shift event. Uh, what, explain a little bit, what did you mean by that? Well, the most obvious uh, reference would be the shift from slave to child. Wesley said it, uh, servant to son was the defining moment of his life. But uh, really, the genius of Soul Shift to me is that it moves the concept of discipleship from being a one-on-one -on -one individualistic thing back into community, which was part of the, uh, uh, which is part of our heritage through the small groups that Wesley established and all, and that's that's how I see John Wesley in this. Uh, for the rest of you, I'm just curious how how you react to Soul Shift and uh, what are some of your impressions? Who wants to go first here? I think there's a couple of uh, key words that came through today. Uh, the thoughts of revival, of renewal, um, of, uh, of, of really a lay-driven emphasis on uh, not just pastors having renewal, but the entire church experience renewal and revival. Um, and, and the theme of holiness came through very strong, a return back to our roots of uh, teaching holiness within a new contemporary uh, terminologies and kind of some fresh approaches. Yeah, I, I'm going to get to Jerry and Buddy here in a minute, but that was something in the panel that you hit on, Dan. You feel like this is a really a return to who we are as, as a denomination. Yeah, I got challenged a little bit about that, too. Um, a young pastor came to me and said, if you said that in my church, 90% of my people would say, yeah, we're going back to the old outward junk, the legalism. Um, and that's not at all what we're talking about. We're talking about the heart of who we are and recovering the heart of who we are and actually the dynamic of that spirit, which is actually to surrender to the leadership of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Yeah, and part of this being formed in the image of Christ. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, some of your impressions. I think the strength is the program was built in a local church. It didn't come from headquarters, didn't come from another group, and it addresses the cultural issues in that church, which are the same in many churches. And I think a program that comes out of a local church is going to be more effective than a headquarters program, much like Radical or something like that's how they responded. And I think it's going to be much more helpful to our churches. Um, buddy? Uh, this is a wonderful new package of um, the gospel, uh, all of the gospel, in terms of what it means in our everyday kinds of lives. I appreciate the resistance uh, to it being a program. I appreciate the resistance to adding other things to our list. And I think they accomplished that in terms of the presentation, and I've read most of the book. Clearly, um, clearly that's not the thrust of this at all, which is refreshing. Uh, the last thing we need is one more thing to add to our list that we feel guilty about in terms of not doing. But rather, I think it is truly a shift, uh, as Steve described in the book and then again today, of at a deeper level that then has an impact lived out in, in these particular areas of our lives. Yeah, and, and Jerry's comment here, I think, flows into yours, the idea that it sprang up from a local church, um, and therefore you can, you can uh, implement this and not have it as a program, but something that rises up from the roots. Um, all four of you are district superintendents. How do you see this possibly uh, being implemented in local churches or used? I'm going to buy a book for every pastor on the district, and then we bought the resource material to have it in the district library. And encourage some churches to start implementing. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Now I know what the standard is, <laughs> buddy. I hope uh, we had we had three churches represented here today, pastors and lay people alike. And um, I think I would like to just encourage them to explore what God would have them to do with that. And again, as these churches get it and begin to have progress, then I think the same thing can happen with them as happened with College Church in terms of sharing it. Certainly we can continue to uh, resource others and you know have other opportunities, but it will take the example, the power of example, the power of testimony from other churches and what God is doing in those that will ultimately uh, have an impact on the district. Yeah, either one of you guys? 
Yeah, we had the luxury of hosting this together, and both of us saw a large number of our pastors here. So uh, I think that work has been done for us in that sense, that they caught it. And we've scheduled with our LDJ groups, which are representative in areas, follow-up meetings to say, all right, what are you guys going to do with this? And the guys that don't have resources try to get those to them. But as Dan said, many of our guys were here, so it's following up. And after they might forget after a few weeks and say, okay, now what are you going to do with it? How are you going to implement it? Because most aren't going to do it leading up to Christmas. It'll be early in the year next year. Tony, the truth also is this will turn into a program if you let it. Um, really, this would not be a commercial for Soul Shift, what I'm going to say. Soul Shift is actually rising up out of a hunger in the church. So it's the hunger that's going to drive it. Soul Shift will be one way to answer that. But there will be other innovative ways also that the discipleship mission of the church is accomplished in the context of the body. Yeah, very good. All right, again, uh, Tony Casey with the Technology Show. And uh, for those of you that are viewing the video, we thank you for checking us out.